Maddox since you were a little kid, such as counting on your fingers. Keep doing that, guys. It works great. Number two, this is where parents can come in, big time. The use of manipulatives, like beads on a string, or maybe lima beans, or maybe some tasty gummy bears, or kick it up a notch with some feathers, or whatever you have lying around the house where you can come up with groupings and colors to do math problems. Number three, count out loud. It always works to verbalize the problem, so count out loud as much as possible. Number four, mental math. Work problems out in your brain before you do on paper and see how that works. Number five, draw a picture. Pictures always do a great job here of bringing imagery to the study of mathematics. It really helps to see what you're adding, as in apples. Number six, use tally marks, like groups of five. Number seven, number lines, a classic mathematical practice. Use your number lines, guys. Number sentences, again, a classic. One plus three equals four, or three times four equals 12. Make sure you're very neat and you keep your numbers very well organized in your number sentences. And lastly, number nine, all those other math tools out there that you use in maybe different schools and districts like number paths or number bonds. Some of you are applying tape diagrams or doubles facts or combos of 10. Use all those great things, guys, that your teachers have taught you. We have some of the best math teachers in the world in Western New York, and some of the most awesome parents out there right now teaching math with pasta necklaces and Connect Four. So get out there and keep reading, keep writing, do some great math, and most importantly, be safe.